thanks for tuning in for another episode. Harrison, thanks for coming by. Thank you for having me. Today we're going to talk about dynamic search campaigns. So three and a half billion searches happen on Google every single day. And surprisingly, 15% of that queries are brand new. So even a well-managed keyword account can't keep up with that. And so you miss a lot of traffic. Absolutely. But dynamic search ads make sure that you cover those right queries. Yes. Can you walk us through this solution a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So just like you said, we know that even with non-branded search and Google shopping, we're not going to capture all of the new keywords that people are searching for. There's trends that are happening. And so we know that all the search terms are not being captured right now. So we set up dynamic search campaigns to make sure we capture the extra stuff. So how it works is Google crawls your website, crawls your product pages, and then they show you a unique ad based on exactly what you searched for. And the cool thing is, is you can actually go in the search term report of a dynamic search campaign and see what's converting for you. Um, you can see what's driving the revenue. So then you can apply those learnings to, say, your non-branded search campaign and start to bid on those keywords. So it's really leveraging Google's machine learning algorithm in order to build a diamond, dynamic solution on display. Exactly. And, and the dynamic search ad actually is dynamic. So it shows you exactly what you search for in the headline. You create the product description, and then it goes directly to the product that they crawled um, that keyword from. And it makes, it makes the whole consumer experience much quicker, too, much easier and more pleasant. Much easier, more pleasant. And again, you're not missing search queries, which is you know, our worst nightmare. It's like, well, we think we know exactly what is going to drive revenue. And so we build these key campaigns out on a lot of keyword research. But dynamic search has showed us that you just can't cover everything. So it's really been effective for us. I know you guys are all about performance. Yes. That's one of the big things that you know, Mute 6 stands for. Right. Um, can you walk us through how this really helps drive performance? Yeah, absolutely. So search is obviously number one for us in driving revenue over all the Google products. And dynamic search helps us fill in those gaps. So like you said, 15% of search queries every day are new. So we're making sure in every account that we set up, we have dynamic search running alongside all of our other campaigns as a part of our blueprint. And over 80% of purchase decisions kind of start with Google. Right. And so being able to be there um, where the consumer wants across that funnel is yep. incredibly valuable. Absolutely, and showing them a dynamic ad is incredibly valuable. It's, it's exactly what they searched for. So what's the strategy for building such a campaign? Yeah, so you have a page feed. So you're pulling, from, you're pulling your data from your specific products or your collections. And then once you build your dynamic search campaign off your feed, you want to add your branded keywords as negative. We do this because we want our dynamic search ad campaign to be specifically acquisition, and we don't want any performance to come from branded keywords. Then once you have a strictly acquisition dynamic search campaign, the next step is to comb through your search terms report, see what's converting, and see what's not. So you add uh, whatever's not as negative keywords, and whatever's converting, you transfer to your non-branded campaign, and you allow that to run and bid differently on those keywords. Powerful stuff. It is, yeah. Can you walk the viewers through how exactly you set up such a campaign? Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to go to a screen share now where we show you how to set up a dynamic search feed. The first thing you're going to do, upper right-hand corner, click Tools. Under Setup, you're going to see Business Data. So again, we like to build page feeds. We find them to be the most effective. So go in and build a page feed using Google Template. Open up Google Sheets. And then what I would recommend you do after you've opened up Google Sheets is take URLs of your most important products and your most important product collections and put those into the sheet and then add a label for what it is. When you go back to build your DSA campaign, you'll see that all you need to do is put the label in for whatever your product or collection was and set each ad group as a separate label. So if you have a label for leggings and you have a different label for t-shirts, make sure you put those in different ad groups. Harrison, it seems like this solution is extremely efficient, helps save time. Absolutely. Any final words for the viewers about this? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's part of our blueprint and everything that we set up. DSA works. It works well. So if you have any questions about dynamic search ads and how to set it up, we offer free consultations, free account audits. You can reach out to us at Mute6. Great. Thanks for tuning in. And Harrison, thanks for coming by again. Thank you, Yoav.